Baton Rouge, the ultimate culinary melting pot that is Cajun, Creole, and low country cuisine. Food in Baton Rouge is a celebration of life. The gumbo, that sort of melting pot of everything coming together. You have all those great influences, the French, the Spanish, the Native Americans, all those cultures that came together and influenced this food that made it uh, so great. Everybody here cooks, and everybody here cooks great food. But now the restaurants are just really stepping it up. You're, you're seeing these young chefs who just don't have any boundaries. They're, they're doing lots of great, interesting things. It's just all about their passion for food and flavor. And it's making going out to eat in Baton Rouge so exciting. And no trip to Baton Rouge is complete without stopping by Jubin's, a local favorite for over 30 years, serving true Creole classics. Don't miss this signature dish, Hallelujah Crab. Amen to that. Jubin's restaurant in Baton Rouge, Louisiana is a French Creole cuisine. This is just, it's the epitome of South Louisiana. And then on top of that, the food is amazing. It's a uh, fine southern dining is what I like to call it. Tons of character here. The restaurant is absolutely beautiful. It's more of an experience than um, coming to eat just for the sake of eating. Baton Rouge is fun, friendly, and southern. Everybody wants you to feel like home, even when you're not. Their signature dish is the Hallelujah Crab, which just to look at it is amazing. Since 1983, our signature product has been the Hallelujah Crab. Soft shell crab, it's stuffed with seafood stuffing. We make in-house, and we flash fry it. It comes out with the hands up, it's absolutely incredible. You haven't visited Baton Rouge until you had the Jubin's gumbo, for sure. Jubin's house-made gumbo, deep, dark, rich roux. Starts out with a duck broth, and it really adds essence to it that makes it unique in its own way. You're hearkening back to the people who came here from, from France and from the islands, and you have this fusion of these fantastic dishes. Today, we'll be cooking our Adrian. We get a locally sourced fresh redfish delivered six days a week. And we'll hit it with our mushroom. We get jumbo lump crab meat freshly delivered. This actually got here about 20 minutes ago. Nice, lush, luxurious flavors. Southerners don't really hold back. It's not much light to Southern cooking. The cocktail program, the wine program here, a lot of emphasis goes into that. We have the Jubin's Martini, which is incredible. We have our uh, Jubin's house-made honey bourbon. That's really unique. Jubin's wants you to feel like you're part of the family. It's consistent, it's fantastic, uh, and we love coming here. Down home, comfortable, it's just a place that's really representative of Baton Rouge as a whole. As a chef, you always want to cook by the seasons. But in Louisiana, we don't have traditional seasons. Our seasons are crawfish season, crab season, oyster season. We have tailgating season. That's how we celebrate food and celebrate life. Tailgating is serious business here. It is not just hamburgers. There's um, whole pigs that are roasted, the gumbos, the jambalayas, and everybody's competing against everybody else for bragging rights. The excitement doesn't end on game day. Head to downtown to take in the historic sites and top off your night at Strooby's, an elevated dining experience that stands out in this city's red hot dining scene. You come downtown, you're literally in walking distance to every historical aspect of Baton Rouge. The Mississippi River right there, there's a river walk, you can take a stroll down there. Numerous bars, numerous restaurants. Strooby's Seafood and Steak is a locally owned restaurant. We're in the heart of downtown Baton Rouge. Strooby is good food. Phenomenal. When I'm traveling, for sure, I seek out a restaurant that's going to give me that feeling of home, something that gives me a little comfort being on the road. We do uh, what we call upscale down south. We take a lot of hearty home ingredients, rich, robust flavors that we're trying to really elevate to the next level. We're doing things really different here that kind of set us apart. If you go to a place, I think a big thing that I look for is authenticity. The food itself is authentic. The experience is authentic as well. Can you not come to Baton Rouge or this whole area and not have crawfish, shrimp, and those type of uh, flavors? Right. Absolutely not. But if you decide to do something different, like I did, like a ribeye, it's right there with us. You get a really great dining experience. Anywhere you go, people are trying to always push that envelope of what's the next best thing? What's, what's going to be new and different at this place that wasn't at that place last week? 
we're not settling for just saying, hey, let's, let's just have some fried seafood and crawfish. You know, we're, we're expanding that and expanding people's horizons. Tonight I had the grilled fish, and it was spectacular. Today we're going to be cooking a piece of grilled mahi that's going to be set on a bed of andouille cardamac choux, which is a Cajun relish. And it's all going to be topped off with a New Orleans-style barbecue shrimp. Downtown's taken off, and we've been here for about six, seven years. And every year, there's at least two more bars, restaurants. It's definitely becoming a focal point of uh, Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge is definitely a dish worth the drive. Baton Rouge is really a hidden jewel as far as the dining scene is concerned. You know, it's a great city. The energy is just amazing. And it's just really grown into itself and developed, and it's just great to see. And it keeps developing. It is such an exciting time in the restaurant scene because you have all these great chefs coming in. It's just all about their passion for food and flavor. It's really a great time to be in Baton Rouge and eating that food right now.